Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am using the Warmest Hearts Bundle. This is from our new, um, well I call it the Holiday Catalog, but that's not the right name. It's the September to December 2023 Mini Catalog. Um, not everything in there is holiday, as you can see. The Warmest Hearts stamp set is... It's a thermos slash water bottle. I have three teenage daughters and they carry around these giant water bottles with them everywhere they go. So as soon as I saw this, I thought, oh yes, I have to have this. Um, the thermos is super cute, but the water bottle um, will mean something to my girls and so we have to use it. Um, for this card, we're gonna make kind of a fun fold. I saw a card like this online where it has this square window and you use it to make a little frame really for your little uh, cluster of goodies here. But we're making a birthday card and I am using throughout the year, happiest of birthdays. We, as you would assume, three teenagers, lots of birthday parties that they go to. So this will be fun for one of them, I'm sure. Okay, well, let's start by doing our stamping. We're gonna stamp our water bottle twice. Water bottle thermos, I call it a water bottle. I guess that's not really the right name for it. Our thermos, our, the ones that my girls use are called a hydro flask. I call it a tank because it is made of material that is similar to a tank. <laughs> it's metal and it's crazy, it's, it's crazy. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of masking off. Um, I'm gonna stamp the flowers on here. And when you, when you cut out with the dies, it leaves a little bit of a white border around it. And I don't want that white border to show the flowers in the border. So I'm just gonna use some post-it notes to roughly mask off our Let's see, let's do two like this to mask off our little water bottle like that. All right, and then I'm gonna take the flowers and I'm gonna use Memento Black and I'm just gonna stamp them a couple of times. I'm gonna turn it when I stamp it this time so it's kind of at a different angle. And then do a little bit over on the edge like that. All right, now if you're careful, let's see if I can do this. Well, nope, I guess not. You could maybe get it to where it would stick. Well, I guess not. And we'll do the same thing to this water bottle slash thermos. One thing that you could do, and I will be honest, the first time I did this, I didn't mask off. And then I realized when I, after I used the die cut, well, I just smeared ink. Let's see if we can cover that up. When I cut it out with a die cut that the flowers were there in the, the white border, and I didn't like that. So I had to take my scissors and really snip off the edges. And that kind of defeats the purpose of having your dies. So I encourage you to just use your masking. That way you won't have to do that. Okay, so now the colors that I'm using, I have girls and we like flowers, so we're just gonna go with a flowery, bright, kind of a bright summer pattern. I'm gonna use Melon Mambo Dark to color most of the flowers on one, and then I'll use Daffodil Delight Dark to color the flowers, most of the flowers on the other one. So they'll look a little bit different because the majority of the flowers on here will be Melon Mambo, and the other one will be Daffodil Delight. All right, so I'm just using my bullet end like that. And I think we'll do the other two Daffodil Delight. Let's come down here and do um, a, just a couple Melon Mambo and we'll do the rest Daffodil Delight. All right, and then I'm also just gonna color in the centers of those with Melon Mambo. All right, so now we'll switch over to our dark Daffodil Delight, color these in. And I'm sure you can guess, we'll color the center of these flowers, Daffodil Delight. Now, of course, you don't have to use these colors. I am not using any designer series paper that I'm trying to match. I just picked a color palette that I like. 
So feel free to explore with your colors, maybe a purple color scheme or a more darker blue color scheme would be good. All right, so then dot, I need a little dot there. Now I'm gonna take my granny apple green and I need my light and we'll color in all of these leaves. And then we're gonna use a blue to go around the edges or go around the inside of these stamped images. So I'll go ahead and finish this one so that you can see exactly how I'm doing it. And then we'll come back and, I'll, well, I'll speed up the video and do the other one. So I'm taking my light and this is Tahitian Tide. My light Tahitian Tide and I'm just gonna go in between all of these images. And because the colors are dark, I'm not too terribly worried about any kind of bleed over. Near the yellow flowers, we'll need to be careful because that would show. But our Melon Mambo and our Granny Apple Green are dark enough that if we accidentally went over the lines, you really wouldn't be able to tell too much. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of dark kind of around the edges. Like that, just to give it a little bit of depth. All right, for the lid of the water bottle, I'm going to use Smoky Slate. And I'm just gonna use my light Smoky Slate. And we'll color it all the way in. that and then you could take your dark and we'll go around the edges kind of give it some more depth like that and then take your light and just blend that color towards the middle like that all right and there is one now I'm gonna color the rest and I'll speed up the video so that you don't have to watch me color both of them. All right, I have finished and I have used this die to cut both of them out. Now let's get started making our card base. Um, let's see, the first thing we're gonna do is cut that window out of our card. So I'm gonna use a stitched rectangle die. This is um, from our stylish shape dies. And I'm gonna just kind of put it here on the edge like this, and then tape it with some post-it tape. See how it sticks over the edge right there? And we're gonna run that through. your card is open or you'll cut that window out of both the front and the back which is not what you want you can use any shape really to do this all right see how it creates that window right there now let's make our card front a little more interesting and I'm gonna take my flower that we just used on our whoops our water bottle clean it off and we'll grab our melon mambo ink and let's stamp this flower all over the front you want to turn the flower each time so it's a little bit different melon mambo is such a fun color i think of all the colors we've ever had melon mambo is my favorite polished pink was pretty close and i do miss polished pink but i never tire of melon mambo all right there we go 
Now on the inside of our card, I'm going to adhere a piece of basic white, four by five and a fourth. By the way, there will be a supply list on my blog for this card and two other Warmest Hearts cards if you are looking for um, ideas to use with your stamp set. Now this is a piece of our DSP and the name is always escaping me, isn't it? Birthday, bright and bold birthday. It'll be on the supply list. But that way we'll be able to see a little bit of that bubble bath stripe through the card. Okay, well, I didn't cut that very straight, did I? Well, I'll use my trimmer in a little while. Okay, so now let's start putting our goodies together. I have a basic white stitched circle and we're gonna take our two water bottles our thermoses <laughs> they really don't look like a water bottle but you probably know what I'm talking about you've probably seen them you may have one yourself they are water bottles they keep your water cold forever and ever which is wonderful all right we're gonna kind of put them like that with dimensionals then I'm gonna take a dimensional and put that right here and I've cut out two Daffodil Delight flowers from the Paper Florist dies. These are the smaller of the, the set. And then I have cut out two sets of foliage. This is Granny Apple Green. And the other one is Lemon Lime Twist. And we'll just layer them like that. There we go. And of course, let's add a little bow. I've got some basic white twine here, Baker's twine. Ooh, let's see if I can save it. Did I pull it all the way through? There we go. Get that bow, make it bend to your will. Make it do what you want it to do. It will do it, I promise just gotta tell it who's boss make sure you cut it with some scissors <laughs> better than what I just did those are not my ribbon scissors for sure all right we're gonna put that right in the middle like that now we're gonna glue this we're gonna put a little bit of glue here here and here because it will overlap and I've just got to see exactly where I want to put the glue so I put a little bit right there and you know what I think I'll use a glue dot for the sake of the video so it will be dry. We won't have to wait for it to dry. So wherever it overlaps that square, you just want to put it on there and see how it overlaps and it makes that, it fits inside that window. Okay, so let's stamp our sentiment. I have cut out a stylish shape banner. Now, normally I would say, do not cut out your die and then stamp. It's very hard to get it straight. But for the sake of the video, I did that. And I don't know, uh, yeah, it's not perfect but it's good enough. It's much easier to stamp and then die cut because you can make sure you can see what you're doing and get it straight. All right, we're gonna put that right there, kind of over on the left side. And then last but not least, I've got some, and these are actually sweet sorbet, little pearls, iridescent pearls, but they, they go really well. These are in color pearls. All right, so just finish adding on and well, maybe one more let's see if i can get that off of there come on come on right there and there you go a fun birthday card remember change the colors up to fit your need whatever you want and uh, have fun with this fun warmest heart stamp set click the link here on youtube go back to my blog let me know if you have any questions and get that free pdf it's free thanks guys happy stamping bye bye